Hi, fifth grade. This is Mrs. Lamorne again, and today we're going to be doing Unit 7, Lesson 2, Points on the Coordinate Grid. We're going to plot points on a coordinate grid. Yesterday we explored what a coordinate grid was, and today we're going to plot points on that grid. What do you notice? What do you wonder? Well, I noticed that this is a coordinate grid that I learned about yesterday, and that it has it a vertical axis and a horizontal axis. I also noticed that there is a point on it. There's a point on it. There are two, um, one, let's see, I see that if I follow this line here, it would be five. And if I follow this line over here, it would be six. And I wonder what I could do with that information. Why aren't there any shapes on this, I wonder. I wonder um, why is there only one point? Could we put more points on this grid? How could we describe the location of the point? Well, it's kind of in the middle of the grid, but toward the top. It's where the two lines intersect or come together, right? Two lines intersect or come together. And that one line is line five and one line is line six. And they cross each other. Oh, I get to play another a game called What's the Point? We're going to play two rounds of What's the Point, so each partner gets a chance to draw. Sit back to back with your partner. Partner A chooses a card, and then describe, then describe the location of the point to your partner. Partner B, draw the point on the blank coordinate grid. Compare the card with your partner's diagram. Discuss what's the same and what's different. All right. So it's only me in here, so I'm just going to do this one time, but let's get my cards out. Here are my cards. I'm going to draw one, and I'm going to be the describer, and then I'm going to describe, and then I'm going to have, uh, try to draw it. All right. Um, this one, I can see that the point is all the way to the left side of the grid toward the middle. On the left side of the grid toward the middle. The point is on the left side of the grid at the six, at the six, right? And it's on the grid line six on the vertical axis. So it's not got a horizontal number that I could talk about. It's just got a number six on it. So hopefully from those descriptions, um, my friend can find that the point is right where number six is on the vertical axis. And we learned that vertical axis yesterday, didn't we? All right, let's move back and see what our next discussion will be. So my friend would have to draw that point right here. Use words to explain the location of the point on the grid. All right, hmm, the point is on the grid. Um, it's got grid line three and grid line four. So uh, I think you go over three and you go one, two, three, up four. And the point is on the corner of the line three and four. Share the description of the location of the point on the grid with your partner. Take turns being the speaker and the listener. All right. If you're the speaker, share your ideas in writing so far. If you're the listener, ask questions and give feedback to your partner to help improve their work. So I could say we start at the zero, go over three, and go up four, couldn't I? I think that would be a very accurate description. How would you describe where that point is to a friend? All right, and then you can revise your initial draft after talking to your partner. How did you revise your lo the location, the explanation of your location? So now we're going to do some instruction here. You, I said to go over three and up four, this point can be described as the coordinate, so another vocabulary word. Remember, this is the coordinate grid, and it has coordinates three and four. So I go over three and up 
one, two, three, four. And that's where I can find that point no matter what. It's kind of like longitude and latitude. You may have done that um, in your social studies class. All right, let me clear this up. All right. What are the coordinates of P and Q? So if I followed the same rules that I used, that I just learned, I know that I'm going to go over one, two, three, and up one, two, three, four. So P is going to have those coordinates of three and four. The first number is always going to tell me to go over. The second number is always going to tell me to go up, so up and over. Over here for Q, Q is going to be over 1, 2, 3, 4, over 4, and up 1, 2, 3. So they're very similar, aren't they? But they're not in the same position, are they? Not at all. Okay, let's see what they ask us to do next. The coordinates for these points have the same numbers. We have a convention that we always list the number that corresponds to the horizontal axis. Get that back. The horizontal axis first, and then the number that corresponds with the vertical axis second. So for P, three fourths, which is remember we had to go over first and then up over first and then up and that's how we got three four how did these represent three four well we went over three horizontal axis and then up to four what are the coordinates for q well we just talked about that didn't it? it's going to be four and three so we could write that down if we wanted to four because we go over four first and then up three. All right, so now we have to list the coordinates for each one. So A, remember I have to go over first, A goes over to four and it goes all the way up to six. B goes over one and goes all the way up to four. And C goes over to seven and up to two. Now we're going to plot the points D, E, and F. So D, get a bigger pen here. There we go. D is six, four. So I'm going to go over six and up four. One, two, three, four. So there it is. That's going to be D. E is going to be over 2, 1, 2, and up to 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And there's E. F is going to go over 8 and up 3. 1, 2, 3. There we go. So remember, all we have to do is remember that we go over first and then we go up. If we can remember that, we can always find points on the coordinate grid. Let's see what they ask us to do next. What is challenging about naming the coordinates for a point? What is challenging about plotting them? So you could talk about that information in your class, but I always have to remember which coordinate goes first and which one goes second. I have to be careful to make sure I get the right horizontal and vertical location of the point. I have to remember which coordinate goes with which axis. Remember, I have to remember to go over first and then up. It's hard to remember the coordinates while you're also trying to find them on the grid. I could find each coordinate, but finding the point with both of those coordinates is hard. What new information did we learn about the structure of coordinate grids? We can use the numbers, yeah? to plot and label the points on a grid, we, we found out that we have to go over first and then we can go up, right? What do we know about the points of the, with these coordinates? They each have seven and four, but they're gonna be in different spots, right? So if I were doing 
let's label these A and B. So if I wanted to label point A, I have to go over 4 and up to 7 first, and that's A. For this one, I'm going to go over 7 and go up 4. So there's totally different points, right? This is 4, 7, and this is 7, 4. We always write parentheses around coordinates, and we always separate them with a comma. So my next question is, what do we know about these? They each have a 7 and a 4, but the 7 and 4 are in different places. So 4, 7 has a horizontal coordinate of 4 and a vertical of 7, which we did up here. The other has a horizontal of 7 and a vertical of 4. And we've already plotted those points, right? So we always go over with the first number and up for the second. All right, so now we're going to test it and see if you can do it. What are the coordinates of R? Well, R is going to be, open parentheses, I went over 7, right? It's on the line for 7, and up to 3, close parentheses. And now they want me to plot 3, 7, at T. So that means I go over 3 and up 7. T. There we go. All right. Thank you boys and girls for joining me um, for lesson 2 of unit 7. I hope to see you again for lesson 3 and I hope you enjoyed learning how to plot points on the coordinate grid.